here, uh, Amelia, and missionaries. We are here in New Orleans starting our Holy Week missions, praying for you all. Sherry, say hi to Washington, D.C. That's hi, right. Washington. God bless you all. Hey, everyone. This is Rosanna. Hi, and I'm Lizzie. And we're the missionaries here from Atlanta. We're just by you smiling at somebody, even though they may not accept it with a gracious smile in return, you're actually allowing Christ to plant a seed in their heart that will lead him closer to him. So don't be afraid to reach out to those souls. Go out of your comfort zone. Do some things that you normally probably wouldn't um, you won't regret it and just do everything for crisis holy missions so we will be united in prayer pray for us and we will be praying for you guys and all the missionaries around the world bye so holy Week missions is just be bold for christ um, and to listen to the holy spirit move in your heart uh, there's lots of people on the streets and like that can be very intimidating but christ sets up these beautiful encounters hi everyone i hope you have a great time at holy week missions it's seriously been one of the best memories that I've had. Uh, Jesus is so good to us to allow us to have these few days to like truly love him and show that like you want to be his disciple and that you want to love him when everyone else was pushing away from him. Have a good time. Hey, that scripture tells us to always remember the authority that is given to us by the Lord. And you all know Christ and you all know who he is. And so you can go out on the streets and you can tell people about who he is um, and speak from that authority that is given to you from the Lord. Um, I just notice that sometimes when I'm on mission, I look at a person who's probably suffering a lot more than I ever have in my entire life. And I think, what do I know? What do I know about their life? Um, what do I have that I could tell them? Um, that you have a love that they've never seen before. And you can speak of that love with an authority because you know him. And so, I just encourage you, especially if you're feeling nervous or if you don't really know what to say to a person, just go back to the gospel and go back to what Jesus has done in your life and, um, and you can show them that love. Try to live this very well with Jesus. He um, needs your consoling as he's on the cross. And I just encourage all of you to um, spread the word of the gospel and make his name known.